Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Oh, that's a deadly premonition too. This is a deadly premonition too. Deadly, Craig, it's deadly premonition too. What do you mean you've never heard of the first one? You piece of shit. Deadly premonition too. <laughs> So that's Deadly Premonition 2 coming, and also the Deadly Premonition Switch port I've wanted for ages is happening, like, today. What? This isn't Christmas, why is it Christmas now? Boston, 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent yeah, Aaliyah so Davis opens an investigation in into an in old fact, serial killer she... case. She also opens a door to the unknown, a door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years oh. ago. Less than 24 hours ago, I demanded, demanded of the game industry a deadly premonition port switch, switch port, port, switch port, switch port. Less than 24 hours ago, I demanded of the game industry a direct Nintendo, less, less than, tw oh. I messed all that intro up. Anyway, the point is, less than 24 hours ago, I demanded, demanded news of deadly premonition on the Nintendo Switch like I've always wanted. If you've followed me on social media for any amount of time, you'll know I do this fairly regularly. Every now and then I'll bother Rexseed or Rising Star or Access Games, basically anyone and anything that's had any vague involvement with Deadly Premonition. I'll pester them on social media, asking them, where's my Deadly Premonition on Switch? Where's my Deadly Premonition on Switch? And finally, at long last, as per the latest Nintendo Direct, I have finally got my wish, my demand, my desire, my need at this point. Yes, finally, 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 Deadly Premonition is coming to the Switch. The port of my dreams. I've said in many videos before that in... I don't know why I'm keeping all the screw-ups in today's videos. This is what it always sounds like. I always end up talking and then just going, oh, blah, 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 blah. And today I feel like I'm just going to keep them in. Very fitting for a game like Deadly Premonition, which is so deliciously wrong in all of the right ways. One of my favourite games of all time, I've described Deadly Premonition in the past as like watching two clowns eat each other. It's bizarre, it's disturbing and yet it's so deliriously entertaining. Deadly Premonition is still the most confident 10 out of 10 I ever gave a game back when I was giving games review scores. I said at the time that it had to either get a 1 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. Anything in between is an injustice to just how extreme this game is in its weirdness, and there was no way in hell I was going to give it a 1. I'm not IGN dishing out 2s out of 10s, which it did at the time. Now this game is a work of surreal art. The things about it that are bad and broken are perfectly balanced with the other things that are bad and broken to create something so bad and broken it's actually bloody brilliant. Now I've said before that the Nintendo Switch has fast become one of my favourite gaming systems ever. As a lover of handheld gaming, I love the kind of handheld experiences that the Nintendo Switch has offered. Original games and the big bevy of ports that some people criticise the system for, but I actually love it for. Playing Resident Evil 4 while I'm on a flight to Pittsburgh for a wrestling gig, that's just bloody dandy. So there are a lot of games I would love to see ported to the Switch, and Deadly Premonition has always been chief among them. Tootling around town as Agent York Morgan while again on a flight or just sat at home with the YouTube videos playing randomly on the TV. Not too random, you don't want to get too far into Nazi territory. It just sounds like a great idea. The playing the Deadly Premonition, not Nazi territory. Deadly Premonition is exactly the kind of game that I look for in a Switch port. Something I'd love to play again, but would like a, just some little excuse to do so. Some excuse to play it again, an additional reason to come back with the limited spare time I have. And for me, playing it on a handheld, that's a, it's a compelling reason for me. I know it's not a compelling reason for everyone, certainly the people who laugh at the Switch for being a port machine, but the people doing the porting know exactly what they're doing and who they're appealing to. And that person they're appealing to is me. The news of the game industry acquiesced to my demands and that's definitely what's happening 
happened here. There's no other explanation. There is no other explanation. Scouts on a wink wink. The news that they acquiesce to my demands, definitely, comes after the news that I am solely and totally responsible for Aliens vs Predator coming to the Capcom home arcade. I did that, me and me alone. Look, here's the article about the Capcom home arcade where I was credited and only me. Direct quote, these are valuable intellectual property, talking about AVP, these are valuable intellectual properties and you have to respect that. I've dealt with the licenses throughout my career at Coke and you just have to go through the process. But in my mind, AVP had to go on because we had to have a standout title. Alien vs Predator was there from the outset. I'd watch Jim Sterling, Metal Jesus, and people like that online and they would bang on about it and they would talk about the licensing difficulties with Fox and I just thought it's a must have and I'm lucky that I contacted the right people and they liked the machine. Ha! Me, definitely just me, no one else, no one else was mentioned, just me, definitely me. Hey, YouTube, hey, video games. You're welcome. So with this newfound power to shape the world, what will we accomplish next together on our journey? Well, I've got a list of other demands. They're right here. Right. Demand number one, Shadow Hearts Remastered Collection, please. I'll have that on the Switch, thank you very much, but it should also go to other systems as well. I want Shadow Hearts, great RPG series. I want to play it again, please, and I want them all on all the systems forever. Thank you. And while we're doing remastered collections of old games, a Dead Space remaster collection wouldn't hurt, would it? Wouldn't hurt, wouldn't kill you, EA. Wouldn't hurt you to do it. Huh? Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2, Dead Space 3 a little bit. Remaster collection on all the systems forever, thanks. New Primal Rage. It's another one I want. I'll take that as well. I mean, this goes for all of them. All the systems forever, thanks. I want a double pack. Primal Rage Eternal Champions. One double pack called the Fighting Games Jim Sterling Has Played Collection. You can put Rise of the Robots on there as well. Shadow of Memories on the Switch, thank you very much. Although, oh yeah, Konami publishes that one. I'd have a better chance shitting a live lobster. That'll do for demands. I mean, I've got more. There are always more demands you can make of the game industry. That's what YouTube exists for. But for now, we'll just get those boxes checked. I love Deadly Premonition. I don't know if I've ever told you that. I don't know if you've ever picked up that I might enjoy Deadly Premonition a lot. I really like Deadly Premonition. And there we are. I'm finally getting, after months of campaigning, I am finally getting Deadly Premonition on Switch, and it was definitely because of me, definitely. There is no way you can prove otherwise. No way! Ah, you know, sometimes, just sometimes, life is beautiful. Deadly Premonition 2!